Ops. Leading his team up north again. Looking to improve to 2-0 on the year as Camp evades the pressure from Navratil and has a man wide open down the sideline. Great catch by Carter Bell. That's the elusiveness of this true freshman quarterback able to shake away the initial rush and hit his man deep. Four yards and a touchdown. Here's a second down play. Catch along the boundary and nearly a broken tackle that time by Caleb Vanderesh. Second team all Valley a season ago, the senior from San Jose. That's a well-thrown football right there. Third and goal. Pressure coming. And Camp is going to throw this one away. Jordan Kennedy and Cy Shannon, a couple of safeties. Shannon now a converted outside linebacker, putting the heat on for a chip shot. 20-yard field goal. Pressure off the edge there. C.J. Siegel nearly got to that football. We saw you in the block a field goal last week. Week for everybody, but you're right. It is, there is something nice about being home the week before. First catch of the season now for Kristen Cochran, the sophomore from Michigan, who had some flashes as a freshman in 2019. I'm happy that he accepted. Schuster is going to loft one in the direction of Garrett Mogg, his main target. Overthrown, though, for the 6'4 junior from the Twin Cities. And it will be a three and out now forced by this Coyote defense. You're comfortable with, and I think they just have such a great relationship on that offensive side of the ball to know what works for Tommy. Second carry in a row for Luke Skokna. North Dakota averaging over 200 a game. Here's first and 10 for Schuster, looking deep on play action. He's got Mogg inside the 10-yard line. Garrett Mogg able to get free in the secondary. And North Dakota has a first and goal situation on the way. Play action pass, and Tommy throws a great football right here. Mog able to go underneath it and catch this. Great pitch and catch right there. And a good Otis Weah gets the call on second down. Loses the football at the goal line, and South Dakota recovers in the end zone. Reach for the goal line. That ball comes out, and South Dakota able to pounce on that. A three-sport star at Normal Community West High School. Faced with a third and ten. Another pass out wide, almost picked off. Evan Holm with the break on the football. McQuitty was the intended target. Fields before flexing out wide again. Weah gets the carry. Able to bounce it outside and keep his footing. He's going to be awfully close to the first down. That's what Weah can bring. Sir who is only 5'9 as well, but over 200 pounds, averaging 90 yards a game this season. Able to grind his way to move the chains on third down, and now it's Preston right back in action. One label. He's run with it so far. Here's first and 10. They'll try the flea flicker. No place to go with the football, and Schuster's going to tuck and run. A lot of space across the 30, and he's got the first down. Garrett Mogg and Jake Richter flooding right. Yotes read it well. Ops is a seed is Vaughn on third and three. Puts one in the air. Caught. Touchdown, North Dakota. Adam Zavalny. The freshman tight end. Freshman to freshman. Play design. Quincy Vaughn comes in. You're thinking, run the ball, run the ball. And he throws a perfect ball right there for a touchdown. That's a great. Bob Nielsen kept it under wraps, really, until the opening kickoff. And now Kai Henry, a chance to get North Dakota Back on their heels here. Good gain on first and ten from his own six-yard line. This is Henry out of the backfield now. He's got another first down here across the 35. Look at they're starting on their own six-yard line. It's Henry in motion. Fighting Hawks bring pressure. Pass low, but Henry makes the grab anyway and breaks a tackle. Kai Henry into North Dakota territory. All the way down to the 44-yard line. Everybody else essentially a full go. Here's first and ten. Another grab this time by Carter Bell. Ty Shannon thought that play was going to the outside receiver, not the one on the inside. Second down and 12 after the loss of two. Pressure again coming, and they get home this time. Jalen Johnson in the backfield. Grabbed the four there as well. First sack of the ball game for UND. 23 to keep the drive going. Evan Holm coming on the corner blitz this time. There is a flag on the play. And perhaps another one coming as Camp's face mask got pulled that time. He's going to throw this one essentially away. They'll have a little bit to get sorted out here on that third and forever play. The cards from their own six-yard line. They get into North Dakota territory, but a penalty and a big sack. The Fighting Hawk defense steps up. Scut, though, able to pin the Fighting Hawks inside their own one-yard line. Belquist in motion on second and eights. Schuster to throw. 
He's going to lob one in. Great catch. Garrett Mogg coming up with the grab. Schuster again. Schuster needs the 29 to keep the drive going. He'll step up and find Dalton Gee, who's able to spin and reach, and he's going to have enough for the first down, it appears, right at the lines again. To start the second half after USD won the toss and elected to receive. Here's Mogg now, again, able to find a pocket of space. Schuster, <laughs> Schuster drops it in the buckets. Receiver set for Schuster. Another tunnel screen caught by Cochran, and he's got the first down inside the 40. Well set up again, that blocking on the edge, so effective. Out of the half for Cochran. First and send now. Schuster on the rollout, another tight window, and he cannot fit it in this time. Intercepted by the Coyotes. Second takeaway of the ball game. Brock Mogensen on the pick. Putting them all away on a second receiver like they are right now. Draw play to Henry on second and send. There's the explosiveness. The senior from Miami across the 40, out to the 41-yard line. Second down now, an eight from the 43. Camp trying to step up, and he's going to get dropped again. Navratil and Johnson in the backfields. Second sack of the half for this Fighting Hawk defense. To erase that memory. We'll start with a toss to Otis Weah. And Otis has a huge hole down the sideline. Weah knocked down just shy of the 30. Longest run of the season for Weah. Here's Belquist now on the reverse. Good blocking in front. Donnie Ventrelli leading the way. Another solid open field tackle, though. Mogensen able to slow down the freshman. Wea on the carry. Another big hole. Oh, it's Wea breaking through and into the end zone for the touchdown. Blitz coming. Yotes pick it up. No place to go, though, for camp, and Jackson Turner makes the tackle to prepare for. Pressure again, and camp is going to get dropped inside the 20. Turner back-to-back -back sacks for the senior captain. Really hard to find. Third down in shorts. Wea again able to spin away through first contact, and he's loose again. Wea inside the 30, and finally knocked out right at the 20-yard line. Here for Schuster on second and 10. They set the screen up. Skokda has a block in front. He's inside the 10-yard line, able to spin inside the 5. Down and goal here from the 5-yard line. Wea on the carry. In there for the score! Otis Wea and this Fighting Hawks offense coming to life here in the third quarter once again. It's tough for your defense to go right back on the field. Kai Henry gets the handoff, and he's got the first down, able to slip through the tackle of Shanowski in the backfields. Second down and three. Camp the toss play. This is Tice, who's got the first down. Ty Shannon able to hog tie him. Different kind of quarterback here, but, you know, they know Coach Lefke. They know him from Minnesota Duluth. You know what kind of offense he will be. Fourth and five, the Ode offense staying on the field. Camp with the blitz coming. Gets the screen away. Henry's got it. He's got to get to the 25, though, for the first, and he is not going to get there. Great pursuit to the football. A completion for six. Out to Caleb Vander Esch on first down, and now Tice takes the toss here, and he's got a first out to the 18-yard line. Camp to throw for it. He's got his man, and that's caught by Van Der Esch. Right at the sticks, enough for the first down marker. Opens up enough just for the first down there. Gain of seven for Van Der Esch's sixth catch of the day. Travis Tice able to bully his way. All Valley, South Dakota's number two. Second and seven now. Camp able to fit one in. Caught by Van Der Esch into North Dakota territory. No, right over Jackson Turner. Good throw, or well-thrown ball right there. Screen play to Travis Tice. Great block on the edge. He's got the first down and more. Caden White, unit fresh. Second down, the toss play to Henry. They'll cut it up to the 21, enough for the first. Them, get this running game going. Henry again, he's got the first down. Haas able to stand him up. Weigert looks on. Henry another run up the middle. Stretching, and he's in for the touchdown. Kai Henry from seven yards out. First touchdown of the day for the Coyotes. Goats need the 30. 
Camp. The pitch out, Henry's going no place. Well read by North Dakota, the option play unsuccessful. Doing, you bring that pressure. Yo, so for one on fourth down today, they're going up top. Kennedy's there and he's got the pick. Jordan Kennedy, the senior safety. His second interception in his many game. When I talked to Brett Halenka this week, I said, Who, who's somebody that is going to have a game? Who's going to? You're exactly right. They're a team that nobody's going to want to see in the conference. USD gets Missouri State at home on March the 13th, a 1 p.m. game.